What's up everybody? I just wanted to come on here really quickly and give an update on Gracie. Um, so this all kind of started um, on Friday night. Gracie wasn't eating her food. She was acting strange. Um, she was doing this little walk and spin before and after she ate, which was a little weird. And then she wouldn't eat her food. She ran to her bed and was shaking and burrowed and was acting off. She was shaking, she was whining. It, I knew something was up. So me and Aubrey, we took Gracie to the emergency vet over at Valley Animal in Tucson. And they took her and they kept her there for three nights. She had um, pancreatitis, which all of her health in the past has been GI related pancreatitis issues. Um, sorry, I've I've been up since like 2 a.m. So I'll, this is going to be really quick, just quick update. But we got her home last night. Everything was going great. She was acting happy, healthy. Um, but the only thing is she wouldn't eat. But we we ended up taking her back this morning because she wasn't eating last night and she wasn't eating this morning. Um, we were trying to offer her some food and she wasn't eating. So she is back at the hospital um, and hopefully it's just for today. Hopefully it's just for one more day and she'll be back to normal. But I tell you what, it is stressful. You feel so helpless, helpless and anxious the entire time. Um, it's hard to think straight. It's hard to really do anything because you know, your pet is your baby. You're, you're, you're supposed to protect your pet even though they can't talk. So you have to understand their movements and their signs. And I feel like I understand a lot of those for Gracie because I'm with her all the time. So when I know something's up, I know something's up and I won't hesitate to take her to get care. I feel like I'm probably overly protective of Gracie, but that's fine. I don't care. Gracie's done so much for our lives and the lives of millions of other people around the world of bringing joy to people's life. So I'm not gonna hesitate if Gracie's not feeling well to get her good care. So that's the update I have. She is back at the animal hospital. Hopefully um, today they'll be able to get her to start eating on her own, get her pain under control. She did have some uh, pain on her abdomen so they're gonna work with that and her nausea nausea she is doing fine she's healthy all of her blood work is perfect her kidneys her liver she just has her pancreas causing her a lot of a lot of pain so keep gracing your thoughts um, if you know anything that might be beneficial to help us please let me know in the comments um, I'd appreciate it but yeah, I'll keep everyone updated with Gracie updates, but I know she'll probably be coming home tomorrow and hopefully we can put this all behind us. Pancreatitis is something that she's gonna have to live with. So we just have to learn how to monitor it and you know, whether it be a diet change or whatever, but man, she's been through a lot. But yeah, the team over there is incredible and there's no other place in town that I would feel comfortable having Gracie at than Valley. So thank you, Valley, for taking such good care of Gracie and loving on her. But yeah, let's hope she gets better soon. Thank you guys. We love you. And we'll be back.